previously. And this is what's under a Porsche Cayenne. I've never ever shot a sunrise before. That was scary. We will be actually crossing the border with the BC Ferry today without the passport. Oh gosh, this is going Oh, and in this episode, All right. right now we're currently standing at the starting point of the longest road ever in Canada. Oh, it's called Beaver Lake. It is the oldest Chinatown in Canada. <laughs> All right, so we have now arrived at Victoria. Well, arriving in Victoria, and it's dark over there in that terminal. So I'm going to head back to the car now and we'll see you later in our voyage. Right now we did a quick stop here at some lake that I don't know what the name of Oh! It's called Beaver Lake Just like the one in Stanley Park But well, this one doesn't have Beaver lotus lake. flowers on it This one just has plain old water oh. This thing is 10 kilometers. Hello, Look hello, at Omid's face when he sees 10 kilometers. <laughs> this looks like the Perry's land Look at this out Lake in Victoria and right now it feels like we are walking on water but this dock is actually a floating dock which makes it really interesting look at this the sea level is literally like two centimeters below us but this lake compared to the beef lake in Vancouver is like 80 times the size with boats in here as well yeah you can literally like load up a boat here as well and best of all it's beautiful and big and you can there's like a trail that you can hike around which is 10 kilometers that we didn't do today because we need to actually get to the lighthouse park in victoria in the next hour see you later just parked our car a couple minutes walk away from the starting point of the world's longest highway the Trans-Canada Highway and now we're making our way there to shoot some nice pictures but man is it cold here the wind is even colder than the ones on the BC Ferry an hour ago <gasps> Right behind me there is the line that you would call the sea to sky. Kind of. Because the sea meets the sky. You can't see Seattle, but Seattle's over there. And then Mount Baker is over there. You can't see it. It's over there. A more southern point in the BC. Ooh. Alright. Right now, we're currently standing at the starting point of the longest road ever in Canada, the Trans-Canada Highway, Miles right here, in Victoria, British Columbia. 
and according to Google, this highway is 7,714 kilometers long, and it stretches from here all the way to Toronto. So according to Yen, that stick right there in the distance is the world's tallest totem pole, and right here is the starting point to Canada's longest road. Two world record in a small distance, all located in Victoria, British Columbia. So if you guys are onto uh, Victoria, this is the place to go to. So after visiting the two world record located in Victoria, we're now heading towards the lighthouse park in James Bay. So and Yan is taking us there and we'll see what that looks like. So right there is the lighthouse over there and I'll see you over there. So we finally arrived at the lighthouse park in Victoria. And to get here is quite different than the one you would see in West Vancouver over in the North Shore. That one is more of a hike. This one, as you can see, is all concrete. So that makes it a easier and assess a more accessible place than the one in West Vancouver. And the pros and cons about each of them. This one is less challenging to get to, but and it and they both have very pretty views. The one in West Vancouver is more of a hiking adventure. So it depends on what kind of a person you are, and you like either one of them. They're both pretty. Alright, we just made it to downtown Victoria and right now we have the parliament building located over on that side of us and the seaplane tour is behind us. And we're now heading to find a place for lunch and also take a tour with Yen around downtown Victoria. Right now we're, uh, we're walking on Government Street and this is the most popular street in Victoria with tourists and all the souvenir shops and the nice looking buildings are also here as well. This mall looks like it's hosting a wedding right now. This gotta be the tallest Hudson Bay I have ever seen. Three whole stories high. <laughs> so, right here, Yan has taken us to the Victoria version of City Market, also known as the City Square. And it looks like a school to me in a way but take a look for yourselves it's wonderful and it's very finished and according to Yan right over out in that exit is Chinatown so we'll go over there and see what it's like in Chinatown of Victoria so a quick history of Victoria's Chinatown it is the oldest Chinatown in Canada and to get there we have to walk through this back alley which I'll take you through right now So right now, Yan is taking us to a restaurant where I can get my favorite dish, the calamari there. So right now, we're at Seafood Chalk and Cocktails. Apparently, it's closed. And so after that last place was closed, we ended up having lunch here at Riley's Stones. And it was a pretty decent meal. 
and now we're headed off to explore more of downtown Victoria. <laughs> it's going super fast. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Omid and I are now on our own adventures going across Victoria right now because Yan just left us to go and view his uh, new apartment. And we're now discovering our voyage in Victoria. After some decision making, Omid and I have decided that we would do the seawall that takes us along the harbour side of Victoria. Oh my gosh, it smells really bad. right now and we are about to enter the bridge the one that looks amazing I'm really excited to get on there because it looks really futuristic as well let me show it to you so according to uh, the sign here it says that this bridge is a drawbridge according to Omid and what it does is that the bridge lifts up when there's a big boat that is about to cross and I really like this design, I gotta say. The, um, it doesn't look like it from a distance, but as you walk closer, there's like traffic lights, there's the, uh, the bar that comes down when the bridge lifts up. Very interesting. This is what the bridge looks like from a distance. So right now we're supposed to go to a beach that Yan told us to go to and we heard him say Widow Beach but we don't see we were trying to Google that and nothing's showing up. But we all I remember is that we have to take bus number two. So we'll get on that bus and see where that takes us. So Omi just found out that the beach is not called Widow's Beach. It's actually called what? Funnel Cove. Funnel Cove Bridge yeah. Beach. But we don't really know if that's the one that Yan actually meant. But it does take number two, and it's right beside you, but guess he described. So we're just gonna go there. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the second part of this adventure. In the next episode. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at these bobas. They're freshly made every day. Please don't forget to hit the like button, smash that subscribe button. That way, you will be notified when the third part of our adventure is out, and I will see you in part three. Bye bye.